Hello again, YouTube back again with another video. This time it's coming from Asus. Now for the old Zenfone series, the 4, 5 and 6 have finally gotten a lollipop update. So let's take a look at it. This is like the first impression of the lollipop update because I have just installed this. And as you can see there, the lock screen has definitely changed. Now it got like that slide up to unlock feature there. You can swipe down from there to reveal your quick settings. Looks really nice now. As you can see there, notifications. There you go. It looks pretty clean and you can customize that as always here in your quick settings panel you can choose what else and tools now there's a lot of tools tools is basically the ones at the top row right there so let's take a look at the oh yeah look at this the settings app is changed now looks a little bit better I would say looks a little bit cleaner now about and there you go model number is Asus 300i this is Zenfone 4 A400CG model and there you go Android version 5.0 although there's lots of delays for the lollipop update but hey they finally delivered it to us Asus customers very very nice Although this is like the uh, the early build of the lollipop, the five just five point oh, not really like five point oh two point one. The latest version being five point one point one, but well, hey, at least you get it. You are getting an official update from Asus itself. Now I downloaded the update through the manually through the zip that you can download links in the description as before and the way to do that is to download it it's about 779 megabytes big and what you want to do is put it on your SD card SD card or internal it doesn't matter it works the same and then after that you unplug your phone from your computer and there will be a notification set that an update is detected you can also de de choose that and then choose to install the update it's pretty easy pretty nice and it takes about 30 minutes to get updated and also be sure that you are unrooted and for Zenfone 4 users you have to go at the latest KitKat update version 6.6.3 the build number, let me show that at that. It's in here, the build number for the Lollipop now 7.3.3, but the latest KitKat update is 6.6.3. So you make sure you are on that first before upgrading to Lollipop because there might going to be a lot of problems if you don't do that, or maybe even boot loop your phone, which is not nice. <laughs> Okay, uh, notification change like that, now clear like that, let's see how the notification look like, and there you go, get the screenshot captured there, oh yeah, and for the lock screen notification, as you can see here, it looks just like any other lollipop ROM. You can swipe down to reveal more of your notifications. Swipe up to just do that. There is also the, uh, the customized settings. Um, let's see. There's yeah. There you go. Um, font style now you can change the font directly from the settings app which is very very nice and in the lock screen I, I knew there is a settings here let, let me take a look at that first 
uh, secure, oh, lock screen, yes, and quick access, turn that on, so when you turn that on, you get all of your, oh, doesn't, doesn't show up, let's, let's do that again, ha, ah, I think I just found a bug, that should, should look like, this is the camera, this is the phone, and this is the SMS, but it doesn't work, <laughs> There you go, camera, phone, and messaging. Yeah, a slight bug here. It works the first time, but it, no, it, it just, just doesn't want to. Very strange, but hey, <laughs> let's leave that for now. Uh, let's see, oh yeah, the overview button for all of your apps, the stack like all any other Lollipop ROMs. This is for your application manager, you can see right here. And the amount of RAM available is actually pretty good. The RAM management on here is very, very nice. Although there's a lot of programs installed, it still manages to get free 321 megabytes of RAM, which is very, very nice. The middle one is for screen pinning. Let's say you want to lend your friend your phone, he wants to call, but the way to do that is to go back to recent apps, press that pin, use screen pinning, and now you can you can't really go anywhere from there. But unfortunately if you, when you do this, there is an instruction to unpin the screen touch and hold back and recent app at the same time. Let's do that again. It doesn't work. Oh yeah, there you go. Screen on pin. A nice security feature, but then again, it might not very good if they knew how to do it. Okay, so another one is clear all button. Just nice. Okay, let's see all of the settings. Audio wizard still the same. Now the volume button is a bit different, like lollipop as but Lollipop usually doesn't have silent mode, but there you go. Oh wait. There you go, there is a silent mode just by pressing it again from fight break. Which is nice. Volumes for other media and the interruptions. This is more like the do not disturb mode. Inbuilt from the Lollipop, which is nice. Okay, let's see another apps like calculator. It's the same. <coughs> Got color coded for every single programs there. The dialer app looks the same. Contacts looks the same. Only different colors. Messaging app looks a bit different. Again, the color. And then the uh, the design of the threads. Is changed a little bit. The keyboard is stays the same. Now there's a floating button right there to compose a new message. It's a bit different now. The browser, the browser is still the same as always. The camera is a bit different now in terms of the looks. Although in settings, it's still pretty much the same for every single settings that it has. And the modes is remain the same, although only the design of this thing is a little bit different. Now there's no turbo mode right here, you, you need to change it by itself. And the quality of the photo is pretty decent, I would say, but you need a really great source of light to be able to take a great photo. Like here now. Looks pretty sharp, looks pretty good. Okay, this is the photo that I took earlier. Definitely looks very nice, very detailed. But in a low light condition, I uh, don't really have too much because the noise is going to be way too much. Okay, um, loading photos from the gallery takes quite a bit of time. Very long, in fact. Let's see. Yeah, loading time is a bit slow sometimes. 
especially for the first time. Now the front camera, here yeah, there's a screen brightening now. You can set the timer very easily now. You can set 5 seconds, let's say just 2 seconds. We will take the photo. <laughs> very nice feature, very very innovative I would say. And none other like this. Uh, this is the beautification mode. Well, unfortunately I don't use that since I'm a man. And other stuff is still pretty much the same. The same, just a different design language. Okay, let's see. Uh, calendar looks a bit different right there. Got floating buttons now. But for today, you can add. And just like usual, nothing really new. Clock also got a slight design change, mainly the colors again, but it looks just the same as before. Okay, um, let's see, not a lot of change here. Splendid is changed. The settings now looks like this. Yeah, it's only the look of the app, but overall usability of every single app doesn't actually change that much. So the previous users doesn't actually um, confuse about the new update here. So yeah, this is pretty much the first look at the Lollipop ROM on the Zenfone series, the old Zenfone series. Battery life is okay, I would say, but it's a bit on a bad side. I started this review with 56%, now it's at 50%. Definitely needs a bit of a fixing there. Then again, it doesn't have a very big battery, but hey, it, it needs a bit of work here. It definitely needs a bit of work, because battery life isn't that good. But then again, this phone is not really that great in battery life, so... Yeah, I hope they really do a bit of more optimizations here and there. Okay, yeah. Um, oh yeah, slight problem when I installed this update is that the internal storage just suddenly got very low. Uh, the first time I got 600 megabytes new. Um, oh no, previously in KitKat I got 600 megabytes available. But upon installing this and rebooting it, I only got 159 megabytes of free storage, which is a bit bad. I don't know where is that all of that missing storage gone, but this is the thing that to take note. So you pair it up, just factory reset your phone and make it all fresh, make it all just better. So you don't get the bugs, maybe if, the, if you found any. But overall, this ROM runs fine, looks fine, definitely looks fine, and a very nice refresh from the KitKat era. So yeah, that's it for this first look at the KitKat ROM on the same phone series. So stay tuned, be sure to thumbs up, comment, and subscribe to my channel to see more videos, update videos for more technology stuff. So, okay, thanks everybody for watching.